independent review board, given the responsibility to find out how Detective Sean Suter died, has determined his November death was most likely a suicide. There are a lot of you out there who refuse to believe this. Others think there's more to this about what we should know. But for now, here's what we do know with WMAR investigative reporter Brian Kubler. This report was four months in the making. The seven-member panel appointed by former Commissioner Daryl D'Souza was tasked to look into the death of Sean Souter. Tonight, their final report went public. They convened back on April 12th, the chair of the Independent Review Board, very specific on what they were charged to do. We are not going to reinvestigate the homicide. But what we are going to do is do an assessment of what the work that has been done. But even so, this board did render a conclusion. Going against the state medical examiner who determined Sean Souter was killed, this panel now believes the detective committed suicide. In their 200-plus page report released today, they cited ballistic evidence, the autopsy, and videos like this one for their conclusion. What you're looking at here are the last moments of Sean Souter's life. It's hard to see, but that is Souter crouched behind a van before darting into the alley. <laughs> what you just heard were Souter's last words. It's an unintelligible radio transmission, but shortly after it, Souter was shot with his own service weapon. Police believed Souter was overpowered by a suspect he was watching from behind that van, but this panel now says he killed himself. In their reasoning, they cite his testimony in an upcoming grand jury, his knowledge of death benefits in the BPD, and that he ignored several texts from his attorney before the shooting. Now, it is important to note this panel does not have any regulatory authority. As this case currently stands, the death of Detective Sean Souter is still ruled a homicide. This report also goes on to take a deep look at the BPD investigation surrounding Souter's death. As you can imagine, reaction to this report is widespread. The Baltimore Police Department has scheduled a news conference tomorrow with members of this independent review board.